One popular report in Universal Analytics that's not as easy to find in GA4 is the Behavior Flow Report. So what we would normally do in Universal Analytics would be go to Behavior and then Behavior Flow. Uh, and this will give us a report that shows us how users are navigating throughout the website. So we can quickly see from this blog post, users are then going to these service pages and you can even see another two layers after that. In GA4, uh, this report is set up a little bit differently. So uh, you don't actually get that report out of the box. What you're gonna do is go to the Explore tab and uh, Path Exploration. So we can actually recreate that report that was previously just inside of Universal Analytics using this tool here. So once you click into this, you'll see kind of the report builder, which is almost like Looker Studio in a way with um, different dimensions, metrics, and segments. Uh, but what I like to do to start, to start building this the way we want to, is switch event name to page path. And what that's gonna do is now we're gonna have a report that's pretty similar to what we just looked at. What I really like about this is the interactivity. So you're actually able to click on one individual page here and then see where people go next. So if we wanna start with the home page, uh, we'll click there and then we can see from the home page where users are navigating. You could even do another layer deeper. So we can then click on this service page and then see from the home page, people are navigating to this service page and then they're either going back to the home page or they're going to one of these pages here. So this can be a really powerful report to start understanding how people are navigating your website. Uh, there's a ton of flexibility built into this as well. You can use segments, which will basically just filter the data in different ways. So if we wanna see mobile traffic only, we'll just drop this segment in. And now we're gonna get the same report, but it's gonna be automatically filtered for us. And we get the same interactivity here. We can click on uh, a different page. So let's say this service page. When users start there, they tend to go to the About Us or Contact page. Um, so that's one option for filtering. Um, there's also options to add different dimensions and metrics. So if we were to add device category and drop that into the breakdown here, it's now gonna uh, break this data here into desktop and mobile. So if we hover over, we could see seven mobile visits, 140 desktop. We can click on one of these and now just see the mobile numbers, or we can click over or highlight over here and see the desktop number. So you can quickly compare differences uh, between really any dimension. Uh, if you want more dimensions that aren't listed there, this builder will show you basically all the options you have uh, to add to this report.